Thank you, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I am thrilled to address you at the end of the first uh, Geneva Annual Blockchain Congress. Since last year, blockchain has been mobilizing the media's attention as an unprecedented way. It has become a buzzword. But as today's discussion has highlighted, there is a clearly a lot of substance behind the, the hype. Blockchain's essential characteristics make it possible to fundamentally rethink business models and ultimately how we trust each other when transacting in the digital world. Equally important for Geneva, its potential is also transformative far beyond the commercial use cases. From the state's perspective, this intermediation is a challenge with legal, organizational, budgetary, and regulatory implications. But more importantly, it offers huge opportunities we are eager to seize. Switzerland, and in particular Geneva, are conscious of this reality. We are positioning ourselves as one of the world leaders in blockchain with, in particular, a strong political positioning of the federal authorities and the, clari uh, and the clarification of the framework conditions by the FINMA, the Swiss financial regulator. The wide-ranging strategy announced by the federal government will undoubtedly further enhance Switzerland's status as a blockchain nation. In this context, I feel it is relevant to mention three specific landmark initiatives which have been launched by the Geneva State. First of all, in May 2018, we have published the first, the first guide on ICOs, one of the 21st century's financial magnets, to help local and foreign companies fully enjoy the new possibilities offered by the distributed ledger technology. Qualif qualification of project will act an in in this indispensable trust generator helping us to attract and retain the best in class. Second, a proof of concept was successfully completed with the Registry of Commerce to issue extra extracts with legal value that can be verified on the blockchain. And third, a further proof of concept is currently carried out with partners from the commodity trade finance sector for the authentication by the administration of persons authorized to sign electronic transactions recorded in the blockchain. These initiatives are a first in Switzerland and have received favorable coverage at the local, national, and international levels. They do clearly enhance our intention to position Geneva on a global scale as a blockchain-friendly location as well as a global hub of tech for good initiatives. This is one of the reasons that uh, the Blockchain Research Institute, BRE, and Weiski have decided to jointly launch in Geneva the Blockchain Center of Excellence that was announced earlier today by Don Stapscott and Carlos Moreira. We are delighted to have them re reinforcing our vibrant ecosystem. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I'm looking forward to meeting you next year for our second edition of Geneva's annual Blockchain Congress. But more importantly, I do hope to have lots of discussions with your community in the meantime. Last but not least, I would like to express my warmest appreciation to the organizers, to our distinguished guests and speakers, as well as to all, for all you for your great participation. We wish you a great success in your ventures and either a safe journey to Davos or back home. Thank you very much indeed for having joined us in Geneva today. Thank you.